Hello, my name is Rodolfo Silva and welcome to ZModeler on ZBrush Rypad. Let's take a look at polygroups and how can you actually select polygons to start extruding and doing your box modeling. Now in ZBrush, there is really no way of selecting polygons. So in essence, what you have to do is work with your polygroups. So in this case, if I go to my polygon actions and do a Q mesh polygroup all, I can now extrude every single polygroup that are still the same polygroup ID. However, there is a way to create what we call a temporary polygroup, which is the closest you would get to a selection. Now, if I hold Alt, I am creating this white polygroup. Now, if I Q mesh, for example, a single poly, even though I might tap on another polygon, it's going to Q mesh every white polygroup and the single poly. So the white polygroup is kind of like your selection. Now, everything on ZModeler is context dependent. Again, it's looking at your edges, looking at your polygons and looking at your points based on where you're hovering over. So if I'm hovering over this polygon, it's naturally going to look at the polygon actions on the left hand side of your screen. Same thing goes with polygroups. So if you go to your actions here and then you select, let's say, an inset over here, we have the target. And under target, we can select, for example, we want the flat island. So regardless of those polygroups over there, we're going to get an inset of this flat island because the normals are not different enough for ZBrush to detect that it's a separate island. Now, we had a temporary polygroup already painted there, so it's also going to inset on those temporary polygroups. So if we don't want that, I can hold that Alt and then just tap that and let go of Alt, maybe hold now Shift, and now I'm painting back that polygroup. So what this is doing is basically, let's say I wanna have this polygroup over here all around my model, except for this face. I'm holding Alt, tapping that, and while my Apple Pencil is still pressed on the tablet, I'm gonna let go of Alt and now hold Shift. And now I'm basically borrowing that polygroup and I can paint whatever I want with this polygroup. Now that is my active polygroup, so I don't need to do that shift trick anymore. So I can hold Alt and just start painting this and let go of Alt. Now I'm painting that polygroup all around that model. Now after we do that, you can see that our inset, Flat Island, is just going to inset that top island, and it's still retaining that difference in polygroups. We still have three polygroups, right? We have this one on the edge of our inset, and we have the middle one, which he had painted before, and then we have a few others. So if we want to extrude that, for example, we want to go Q mesh. So let's go Q mesh and let's do polygroup island. If I do this, it's just going to extrude or Q mesh that section of polygroups, regardless if they're the same as this one. For example, this and this is the same polygroup. So if I change it from polygroup island to polygroup all, it's going to extrude or Q mesh both of those at the same time. Now I can still do this and Q mesh allows you to snap to that surface and weld automatically. So it's all about speed within ZBrush. You don't have to select your edges, your polygons, your points. You just hover over anything. You can go to my, for example, do like a single poly and I want to do the exact amount of extrude as I had there. So I just tap that surface, tap that surface, tap that surface tap that surface. And now we're doing the same amount of extrusion as we did over there on the top. We could also paint temporary polygroups by pressing this button on the left hand side, which is called temporary polygroup. And now even if I have an action selected, by tapping on my model, I'm just painting that temporary polygroup. And you can see over here now it says we have four polygons that are painted temporarily. So now I can Q mesh all of those and then tap again, maybe select that, select that, select that, Q mesh that. And you can see how fast this could be when you're in a modeling scenario, you want to get something prototype really fast. And this is how you do it. Besides using your temporary polygroup button, you can also assign polygroups or selections by using our Z modeler polygon actions. So we've mentioned before that you can hold alt to paint. You can activate this temporary polygroup button, but there's another way for you to select polygons, which is going over to our polygon actions and under selection, there's a selection button. 
And for this selection button, for example, if we want to do like an entire poly loop, we either paint it manually as we've done until now, or we go to selection and now we have all these options for targets. So we can do like poly loop, we could do polygroup island. So if we just tap that, it's gonna create a temporary polygroup based on that island. So you can do, for example, polygroup and polyloop, and it's gonna go around until it meets with another polygroup. And then obviously you can just go back to your QMesh or just hold your finger there for your presets and then just go QMesh single. And now I'm QMeshing everything that I have selected. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.